Hey guys, my name is Z and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remove unwanted objects in your videos. We're going to take a look at how to do it in DaVinci and we'll also look at how to do it in After Effects. So to start off, let's do it in DaVinci and I've got this clip of me walking next to the body of water and let's say I want to use this clip but I don't want to see myself in it. There's a very easy way of doing it. I think you can do it from the Fusion workspace as well, but I wouldn't know because I'm not familiar with Fusion uh, from DaVinci. So I usually do this in the color page. We can go to the beginning of our clip and the first thing we want to do is to draw a mask. Uh, so we can select our mask or window as they call it in DaVinci and select your pen tool and you can just draw a rough shape around the object that you would like to remove just make sure to include uh, any shadows if there are any inside the mask and then once you've completed it since this is a moving object of course because it's a video you could do this in two ways one you could do it automatically by clicking on track forward and reverse or you can do it manually so we'll try automatic and see if it actually works for this clip and okay already and we can see that doesn't work so i'm just gonna undo that and then we can go back to the beginning this usually happens with uh, certain clips they might not actually be tracked well by the application but we can also do it manually so what i'll do is i'll go on frame here and i will just go a few frames ahead and then move this mask and you'll see that it's creating it's actually creating keyframes at the bottom here i'm not necessarily going frame by frame i'm actually just skipping a couple of frames and going forward because this is more of linear movement and there isn't much happening between the single frames so i can afford to skip around this is a very short clip so it's not really a train smash and just like that we are done and if i scrub through this footage you can see how the mask is actually following me and we are almost there we're actually halfway through and then here comes the very easy part we go to our effects and search for object removal and drag and drop it onto your uh, the node that you created a mask in and from here you can just click on scene analysis and then it'll do its magic sometimes when it finishes doing its analysis it'll actually have created the clean plate but if your video is like this and it's showing a bit of gray in it or the mask is completely gray then you can just go to build clean plate uh, and just click on that and as you can see it just cleans that up so i'm just gonna unselect this mask and play it back and that's how you remove an unwanted object in davinci now let's take a look at how to do it in after effects so here we are in after effects and we have the same clip in a composition so i'm just gonna zoom in here and you can click on your pen tool again and draw make sure that layer is selected so that when you start drawing it's actually creating a mask so we'll draw something similar to what we drew um, in, in DaVinci and once you complete that mask it already isolates that area and then you drop down these options then you go to mask and then we'll just change the blending mode of your mask from add to none just so that we can uh, actually see the entire video and then again we'll need to track this forward again you have two options you can do the auto way or the manual way my assumption is if DaVinci couldn't do it After Effects probably won't be able to do it automatically as well for this particular mask but let's try it out you can right click and go to track mask and then it'll bring up your tracking panel here to the right and we'll just try to track forward and see if it works and it's not working okay so let's put it back it's probably the video or it could be me it could be something that i'm missing out that's why it's not actually tracking this properly please let me know down in the comments if you know any better it usually works with other clips but for this one i don't know what's happening so let's do that manually and what i'll just do is uh, drop down this menu as well and then i'll click on mask path just to activate the keyframes for this mask and now i'm just gonna do the exact same thing that i did in uh, da vinci and we'll just move this mask along the way 
we'll just be skipping a couple of frames because we can and also because this is for uh, illustration purposes but it shouldn't take forever let's just move and there we go there we go and and done so now if i play this forward and backwards you can see that the mask is actually following our subject and just zoom back out to the screen and then we'll change the blending mode of our mask to subtract you'll see that there will be a black uh, mask now instead of seeing what's happening in the image and then you can navigate to content aware feel which should be on your right if you can't see it you can go to window and then just select content aware feel and this panel should open up for this type of clip you want to select your fill method as object and you can also specify the lighting correction that you want however for this video i don't think we need that so i'll leave it unchecked and then from here you just click generate fill layer and then after effects starts doing its scene analysis and then it renders out the clean blade so now it's done if i play back and that's how you remove an object in after effects please do remember that the content away feel and object removal in davinci work best on clips with static backgrounds uh, and usually with small and simple objects it doesn't work well with complicated and dynamic moving backgrounds uh, that have complex interactions and complex things happening it also doesn't really work well with large objects that cover a big part of your frame i assume now with all the ai that's going on that will probably get a better version of generative feel uh, for video where you'll be able to now do more complicated object removals but i hope this video was helpful if it was please do let me know in the comments below please do give your feedback it is much appreciated until next time my name is z cheers